Hi, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so I know now when my first shift back in work will be. It will be on the 12th, which is actually the day that we are reopening. Yay! I am actually in on the first day. I know the last time I was like, I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm, I've got just as good a chance of being on the second day as I am on the first day. Um, but just based on what I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing next week, it does make sense for me to be there on the first day. I'm going to be there a few hours before we open as well, by the looks of it, um, just to sort of start the process of what it looks like. I mean, um, I'm filming this on a Saturday rather than on the Sunday, and I'm doing that because next week I'm going to be having to, to film it on Saturday, um, because I've got Saturday off next week, but I don't have Sunday off next week. I do have all four of my shifts next week. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I'm I'm filming it on Saturday this week, so that I'm in the mind that I'm going to be filming it Saturday next week, and then obviously it will be done whenever it's the most convenient from from then on out. But it's just so that I get into the habit of or get out of the habit, I guess, of always filming it on uh, always filming it on Sundays. Um, but anyway, from from the looks of as I, 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 I was saying, so today's Saturday. Um, today is also the day where we are getting tools of tools of the of the store, so that we can see all the safety measures that have been put into place, um, and and various things like that. So. <laughs> Um, mine is not until after lunch. Um, I selected a slightly later one because I have been doing my food shop on Saturday and because I've got next Saturday off as well, it made sense to, you know, um, that next next Saturday, I mean, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm almost out of food now, so I needed to do the food shop regardless. The fact that I've got next Saturday off, is it's just worked out quite nicely. Um, obviously, it's probably not going to keep doing that, but from this point on, I can start mixing up. I mean, it, it was a case of if I had the Friday off, I would be doing I'd be doing the food shop next Friday, but I don't have the Saturday off, so it's going to be Saturday, Saturday. Anyway, so that's the reason why I selected an afternoon slot, and I went for a slightly later one so that I could not have to worry about rushing around too much this morning. Um, kind of wish that I went. For a slightly earlier one but then at the same time I like kind of having my lunch at about midday um means I'm going to be doing my exercising after I come back but anyway whilst I'm doing the uh the tour I'm hoping my business manager is going to be there so I can confirm what I think it is I've been scheduled for <laughs> I, I want to confirm what I think I'm going to be doing is what I'm actually going to be doing and how I'm going to be actually doing it. Um, if I am, those are some really nice shifts I've got next week. Um, if it's not going to be necessarily done in the easiest possible way, that's going to be a little bit of a nightmare and it's probably going to take longer than before. I mean, I, I, imagine, I imagine if it's going to be done in the nice way, where I'm going to be off the floor and, and doing it off the floor, then uh, I imagine it's only going to take me probably those full shifts and maybe catching a few stragglers afterwards. Um, but if, if I'm having to do it where I'm, I'm having to work before as well, that's going to be a nightmare. So, <laughs> yeah, my, my big question for like going into work today is nothing to do with the store setup. It's like, I've, I've noticed what you've put me down for in the manager schedule for for my first four shifts back. Uh, does that mean what I think it means, and how exactly am I going to be doing it? Because you know, I want to be, I want to go in prepared. I want to go in knowing one hundred percent what I'm going to be doing, so I can strategize and plan and be prepared for it. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm having to go back to work. <laughs> I'm having to go back to work soon. <laughs> oh, oh, it's been it's been over three months since I've been in work and just trying to sort of get my head back into that that sort of focus again. I mean, I know I've been 
working and I know I've been uh I've actually been doing a very good job of, of you know keeping myself motivated giving myself a sort of organized day and I, I mean it's been fairly loosely structured um but I've, I've fallen into a fairly good habit with it um although sometimes I will overrun and because I'm a bit of a workaholic and I don't get much of a break from myself in the evening um, yeah <laughs> but I've you know I've been I've been very disciplined I've been very disciplined um throughout pretty much this entire time um and even though I'm sort of giving myself I mean I'm not, obviously I'm not doing the chapter a day anymore um I have definitely 100% gone no I can't I can't I need to get back into the mind frame of being able to go back to work um and I can't be writing a chapter a day whilst in work so I've I've, I've not I'm not doing a chapter a day so I'm writing uh I'm writing a little bit for the project in the morning, which actually I'm writing a little bit more than I was because I'm no longer feeling that kind of, oh my God, I've got to fit in writing an entire chapter today. I need to get through all this morning stuff a lot faster. Um, whereas now I'm a bit more like, okay, I know that uh, I don't, I don't have that time pressure anymore. So I can take a little bit more time and knock out a little bit more and it, it, it's allowing the flow to be a bit better, which it's going to be a lot more what it's going to be like sort of before work, um, especially because I think I'm not going to, I think I'm going to change up how I do, how I do the before work and actually write and work, write and type um, rather than um, what I used to do, which was write a little bit, then watch something whilst I had had breakfast, then write a little bit more before having to go out the door. I think I might just utilise that entire time. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I might just utilise that entire time for, for morning writing um, and see how we go from there. Um, but yeah, no, then after I've done the writing, I've been... It, depending on when I decide to have a shower. Sometimes I'll have a shower before I do any editing work and sometimes I'll have a shower after I do the editing work. Um, it depends on how late I've gotten up in the morning, um, whether or not I need to have a bit more of delay before having breakfast because I find if I have breakfast a little bit later I'm less likely to snack throughout the morning. Um, which is of course very important. I still have four pounds to lose to get back to uh, 10 zone. Um, and, and then another five to lose again to get back to the way that I was before lockdown started. <laughs> um, but I mean, to be fair, to be fair, I haven't, I haven't gone crazy with the putting on the weight. Um, some of that weight did go on a little bit before, sort of like post Christmas weight as well. Um, but yeah, no, I, I've got about nine pounds to lose in total for me to go back to roughly the weight that I like to be at which you know isn't terrible but you know things like eating far too early in the morning because I'm up like from seven o'clock um wasn't helping so they're yeah, part of the thing I do now that like, I will write before I eat um and depending on what sort of time that writing takes me to depend on whether or not I then go straight into the editing and then eat whilst I'm editing and I mean either way I'm eating whilst I'm editing <laughs> pretty much <laughs> um but it'll determine whether or not I have the shower before I start editing or the shower after I start editing uh, depending on how much more time I sort of need to to push to things um but now that I'm no longer having to write a chapter a day I am doing two chapters for No Doors Allowed editing wise at the moment I'll probably I mean to be fair yesterday I had another visit from my mum um so obviously I was structuring the day a little differently then today obviously I've had food shopping and then I'm doing this store tour this afternoon so again I'm like okay I could do more editing work but I don't really have the time to fit it in because I've got all the other things I need to sort of get on and do and sort and and, and whatever else so um, it's a case of, of trying to work around the, <laughs> trying to work around everything else. So that will probably step up a little bit more. Um, but then again, I also want to sort of be reviewing uh, books again, which I'm 
I've managed to do one so far. Uh, I'm planning not to sort of necessarily cram an entire book into a day, maybe sort of like going, okay, three hours, three hours, um, just so that I'm not, just so that I'm working the most effective way that I can be working. Um, but yeah, so I think two to three chapters um, at this stage, and then once I sort of getting, get closer to it being ready, it will take less time to go through the chapters anyway, which means I'll be able to get through more um, regardless. So it will, yeah, I, I usually get a bit more intense, intense with it sort of towards the end, um, which, you know, I, I may need to get this one out by Christmas. So, <laughs> so I've got a couple of months uh, before I need to get really intense with it. But yeah, I've stepped that up to two to three chapters a day. Um, and then I'm editing one chapter, one to two chapters of, uh, one of the books that I've written during lockdown. <laughs> um, I really probably should also start looking to be editing um, We Giants as well. Um, as I said, I haven't yet because the last couple of days have been a little bit more all over the place um, for, for everything uh, for various reasons and there is there is one other reason why everything's been a little bit all over the place. My cover guy finally finished the second cover, yay! Um, and this is this is the reason why you guys didn't get a pre warning that the promo is actually this like it started today, as in the day that I am filming this, so the eighth to the twelfth of August. Um, both Dollmaker Sun books are free on on Kindle, which is far too late for when this video goes out. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to have a, a really good launch weekend, um, really good launch promo, um, and then I'll be looking to do various other promotional bits and pieces um, once that's sort of come to an end. But yeah, no, I, I did not expect him to suddenly finish it. I thought he might finish it maybe this weekend, and then I'd be able to sort of like go, okay, I'm, and that's what's going to happen from, from here, and, and it'll be all you know, nice. And whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it, it's uh, they're they're out, many are out, and the covers do actually look really good. Um, I I must admit, I probably have a bit more of a fa uh, preference for the first cover than I do for the second cover, but I I do love both the covers. I think he's done a really good job with them really happy with with how they look, how they how they turned out. and um, which is good because, you know, when it comes to the next two books, obviously I'm writing a third one at the moment. <laughs> right. Might might mean it takes me a little bit longer to get out there. But um yeah, I'm I'm really happy with that. Um uh, but on that on that note, um so most of so it, my mum was here on Thursday, not yesterday. I I'll make that correction. Yesterday I spent uh, most of the day sorting uh, and getting ready for the launch weekend um, for the Dollmaker Sun books, including having to chase up because they'd accidentally linked, um, Amazon had accidentally linked um, Echo to both of the books. <laughs> Echo has nothing to do with the Dollmaker Sun series. Absolutely nothing. Like the only thing those books have in common is the fact that they're by the same author. <laughs> um, the, the don't make some books are in first person, echoes in third person, descriptions don't match, the covers don't match. Um, I don't even think they share any tags in common, uh, which are all the things that it, the algorithm usually looks for in order to link things together. So yeah, for, for a while, um, Echo's review was showing on both of those books pages, which was like, ah, oh, I can't, I can't do anything with the link at the moment. I can't share this link with anyone at the moment. I couldn't, I, like, I couldn't even share Echo's link because if you clicked on like anything for Echo, it was taking you um, to one or other of, of their pages as well. So it was just this really, really confusing um, mess but they managed to so I mean I contacted them I think I think I spotted the problem just before lunchtime I think I spotted the problem just before lunchtime um so about midday and by six o'clock they sorted it so that's that's not bad um given in mind that they're probably not based in the UK so 
you know, what was about six o'clock for me was about nine o'clock for, I think, where they're based, um, nine in the morning for where they're based. So, you know, you know, reasonably speaking, that was fairly, fairly decent sorting out of everything, um, especially because the paperbacks are actually linked to the books automatically. The only thing that um, hasn't uh, seemed to have happened, which I was kind of hoping would with these ones, is the series linking. Um, because I know that's a thing, but it hasn't happened for the Neveration books. And I don't think it, it's... I mean, like, there's... We'll see what happens um, in, in the following week. But it, it's one of those things where if it, if it doesn't, I would... I, uh, for them, I would probably chase them up and kind of go, no, they're, they are definitely a series. There's definitely a chronology here. They definitely need to be highlighted as being you know, in, in, in the series to make it nice and easy for people to find the second one or whatever. So yeah, um, yeah, that that was something that I took up a lot of yesterday as well. So I'm I feel like I'm pacing the day quite well. Um, and then in the evenings, I am writing for another project <laughs> because the characters in narration are, are just they're just too they're, they're just too irresistible. I, I can't I can't say no to them. I have to you know they have my heart in, in a lot of ways. So. Um, it's a sequel to the fifth book that I wrote during lockdown, obviously not writing it at, uh, at a chapter a day pace. I'm aiming roughly to maybe be doing a scene, but it'll all depend on what time I actually start writing, because it can take a while to write a scene, depending on the kind of mood that I'm in and the type of scene that I'm trying to write. Um, so some days I might start that a little bit earlier, but again, it's something I can be doing around work. I can write up to a scene before going to work in the morning and I can write up to a scene um, you know, in the evening before going to bed while still making sure that I've got time to have a break from work and to eat and, and not to sort of exhaust myself. Um, so yeah, that's, that's very much my plan going forward at this stage to sort of get myself acclimatised to the idea that I'm going to have to go back to work um, and exactly what that's going to mean and exactly how that's going to slow me down and affect you know all the wonderful things that I've been doing and been getting on with um, during lockdown and then working out the best way of utilising my days off and basically using my days off as a model for how I want you know my future writing career to go um, Fingers crossed with all the books, that I've, <laughs> with all the backlog of books that I've now got, and and this is not even counting the actual backlog of books that I've got. Um, I mean, I still need to rework um, Blood Friendship and Marriage. I still need to rework Realms and Reality, which is really annoying. I still have a lot of name um, with that, and I, I don't know what to do. I think I'm just going to re-release it and um, you know I, I have the copyright for it I, I do it's my copyright so um hopefully I won't get into too much trouble but yeah man, again that's that's something I'm not looking to do this year or probably not looking to do next year but yeah I've got I've got a game plan I've got a game plan for everything um so fingers crossed three-year plan full-time writer <laughs> I mean, it'd be nice if I could be a full-time writer by the time I have to remortgage this place. <laughs> and I'm on uh, uh, year one of my not more. I'm, I'm in year two of my mortgage, so I've got, I've done a full year of my mortgage. I'm now in year two of my mortgage, so yeah, three three years. Yeah, because my my um my initial rate is a five year, is a five year one. So yeah, and, and hopefully, yeah, well, hopefully by the time. Um, I'm ready to remortgage this place. I can be a full-time writer and I've got a game plan for all my releases for next year and my remainder of my releases for this year. Um, so not sure if I want to release We Giant before everything else. I think it would be sensible to release it before everything else. Obviously have everything else sort of ticking over in the background as well, but maybe sort of... Yeah, I need to start editing We Giants. <laughs> I need to start editing We Giants. I need to be making sure that I'm doing at least a chapter um, of editing of We Giants um, as well, now that I've got the time. 
Um, so yeah, I've got I've got a game plan going forward for my writing. Um, I will get some confirmations about exactly what I'm doing for my first few shifts next week, uh, just so that I've got a game plan for there as well. Um, I'm preparing myself to go back to work. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry this sort of got sidetracked in, in and of itself. Um, and also, you know, filmmaker and some books are released, they are out there. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is always a terrifying bit. Um, all right, okay, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I hope you're looking forward to finding out how my first week at work goes next week, because I'm sure I'll be talking a little bit about that um, then. Um, I will see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.